gentlemen, welcome back to the Super Marsh Brothers Super Channel, where you can come and feel super. At least I hope. I'm your host, Jason, today. And I, what I want to do for you today is go step by step on how to convert PlayStation 1 games onto your PSP and how to basically convert them and the whole process, uh, extracting and the converting. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that you have custom firmware on your PSP. I'm not going to show that, but I will leave a link in the description below if you haven't done it to a video of who I of whom I watched and thought did a good job in explaining it to me. I have 6.60 Pro, but there is a 6.61. That's going to be up to you. I think 6.60 is fine using it works just as good in my opinion um, but that's going to be personal preference so if you already have it on your PSP let's go ahead and move forward by this time if you have installed uh, custom firmware I'm sure you have an extraction uh, software whatnot you might have 7-zip or WinRAR, WinRAR. Um, if for some reason you don't we're going to go ahead and just download it so I can show you. So you're just going to go to Google. You're going to type in WinRAR in the search box. And then this is going to come up. You're going to go down to, I can only assume it will be the third option for you as well, to WinRAR.com. So you're going to click on there. It's going to give you two options. You can either buy it or you can download it. Just click Download. And then it's going to ask you again, oh, hey, you can buy it. All right, here you go. And you're going to say, all right, no thanks. Download. So you're going to come here, but don't worry. That's going to come up here to the bottom left, as you can see the download. Now, this just explains how to do it. Don't worry. I'm going to go through the steps. You could just exit out of there. Now, I do everything on my desktop. Um, that is going to be totally up to you, what you want to do. Uh, and how you want to organize your stuff. I'm probably not the most organized, um, which is why I tend to do desktop stuff, because it's just easier for me to keep track. So we're going to go to Downloads. We're going to find our WinRAR download, drag it out to our desktop, close that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to double-click on WinRAR. It's going to ask if you want to allow changes to be made. You're going to click Yes. It's going to bring up this little bit here. You're just going to click Install. Don't worry about changing anything here. Click OK. It's going to show you this. Successfully installed. Click Done. And then this box is going to show up and don't worry about it. Just exit. And then that shows you your shortcuts, but you don't need it on your desktop. So now you can take this and throw it away. All right. So now we got our extraction software. So now what we need to do is get our... Uh, PlayStation 1 to PSP basically converting software um, and I will have these links in my description so that way you can just click on the link and go to them so we're going to be downloading this here PSX to PSP uh, version 1.4.2 RAR just click download it's gonna say create an account but you can say no thanks and uh, that's going to download for you. So you can just either click open file or you can just exit out of there, minimize. I'll just click here, go to my downloads, drag it out to my desktop. Whoops. And then I'm going to extract here to my desktop. So that's going to extract the file and open up a whole brand new folder. So you can double click on that. And you can kind of get an idea of what all that all that's in there. And this little icon here, the PlayStation icon, is basically what you're going to be using when you start converting. So, for now, we're going to throw that in the recycle. And um, let's go ahead and find ourselves a game. Now, me personally, I like ROMSKingdom.com. Now, if you have a preference of website that you download ROMS, it's going to work just the same. So, we're going to go ahead going to go to ROMs, view all, PlayStation, and if you want, you can just go basically list by list by list and just see all the games that they have, or 
if you pretty much know kind of what you want, you can just kind of go to the search, and let's just use Final Fantasy. Um, I would probably just use a couple of words that might be in the game title, because I've tried doing specific searches, and it can't find it for some reason. So if I just do Final Fantasy search, it's going to bring up all the Final Fantasies that are basically available. So we're going to start, since it's a single disc, is what we're doing. We're just going to do Final Fantasy Origins. Now you can see they got two versions here. It says clone, don't worry about it. So this one here is going to say version 1.0. It says USA, so make sure it says USA, not Japan or France or Germany and whatever. Um, and then we're going to click on the other one that says version 1.1. We're just going ahead, going to go ahead and download that. So click download. Going to wait five seconds. Boom, starts downloading. So we're just going to wait for that to download, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're finished downloading. So now what we're going to do is convert the file. So we can just go ahead and minimize that. Let's go ahead and bring up our downloads, bring Final Fantasy Origins out, and extract the game here. So it's going to extract the bin file, and then you're going to have a Q file. All right. So you don't have to worry about the Q file for this step. Um, it is. It can be used for other steps, for other things, if maybe you use other softwares or whatever. But for this, you don't need it. You don't need to worry about it. We're just going to focus on the bin file. So now what you're going to do to convert. So now we'll just take that, throw it away. We're going to open up our folder, the PSX to PSP. We're going to open up this software here. So double click on that. And it's going to give you an option of which mode you'd like. Just I just do classic mode. It's not very complicated. It's pretty easy to read. And so now we got this. So the first part up here is where basically you're going to put your game file. So... I'm just going to drop this down. You don't need to do anything here. Just make sure it says file 1, of course. But you got file 2, 3, 4, 5. This is for multiple disc games that I won't get into on this video that will be on another video. For now, we're just doing a single disc. So make sure it says file 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the gray box over next to it. Go to the desktop. And we're going to find it. Now, if it says SNES 9X ROM, don't worry about it. It's not going to affect anything. It's not going to do, uh, it's not going to change anything. So just click on it and click open. So now we got our file here. And then it's going to automatically bring up a game title, main game title, and then the game ID stuff here. But now we need an output PBP folder. Um, now, if you're wondering, well, what the heck is that? It's nothing big. Basically, all you're going to do, so I'm just going to right-click out here on my desktop, do New Folder, and I'm going to uh, name the folder, let's call it PS1 Convert. So we're just going to put that over there because that's going to be our output folder. So now you're going to go up here. You're going to click on the gray box and you're going to find the new folder you just made, PS1 Convert. Click OK. So now that's basically where your game is going to be saved once it's converted. But hey, now we got to make it look fancy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google, and we're going to do Final Fantasy Origins cover images so now we're going to click our i find an icon so i'm just going to click here okay that's cool right click save image as and it, if it's a jpeg a jpg or a png or whatever that's fine just as long as it's not like a web file so just go ahead and save it to your desktop and you're also going to need a theme as well. So, for instance, you know, I kind of like the look of this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use that as our theme or background uh, for 
the game. So you're going to save image. So right click, save image. It's a PNG image, which is fine. Just save. You don't have to rename it or anything because once you convert it, you're not going to need these photos or files anymore. So now we got those saved to our desktop. So now we're going to go to our icon up here. Going to click the box. Go to desktop. Click on there. Open. That's going to put it there. And then we're going to go to background image. Click the gray box. Desktop. Final Fantasy Origins. Uh, the photo. We're going to click open. So now this is all ready to go. But if you want to make sure that how it looks or to see how it looks you can click preview and that's what it's going to look like on your PSP when you go to your uh, game memory stick so all right so that looks good so we're just going to exit there and do convert now when you convert it this is what the file is going to be called it's going to be SLUS 01541 so now let's click convert so now it's converting and it'll tell you when it's done so I'll see you in a second. All right, so now we're done converting. So now it's ready to go. We can uh, just exit out of here. And now you can look down in your PS1 convert folder that you created for your output folder. And you can see you got something in there. All right, let's check it out. Double click. And there's the file, SLUS01541. So that's your Final Fantasy Origins game you just converted. Now here's the thing. I recommend that every time you convert a game and it goes into the file, you immediately go in after it's done, right-click, rename, and you don't have to do the full name. So, for instance, I'll just do FF space Origins. Boom. Because if you just do multiple games and they're all going to say SLUS and then have a number... And if you don't know what the number is for each game, you're going to be like, okay, uh, uh, what game is that one? Because then as long as you name them, then you can go into your PSP and be like, well, this game isn't working. I'm going to delete it or redo it or this and that and the other, and then it won't take as long to find it. So every time you convert a game, go into the folder, right-click, rename it, and then that's what it's going to be when you put it into your PSP. So, which is what we got to do next. So, now we're going to go to our E drive, which is what it is for me. So, that's my PSP. So, you got all here. So, you're going to double click on PSP. And then you got your game. So, now we're going to go down to our folder, PS1 Convert. And now we're going to just go over here. We're going to click and drag. And, it, and take it to game. And it's going to copy it over into that folder. Boom. Now, if you want to make sure that it's in there, you can double-click on game. And there it is. FF Origins. All right. So now you can just exit out of there. So now you can get rid of these pictures. You can get rid of... This bin file and Q file, if you don't feel like you're going to use it anymore, you can get rid of them. And that's it. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you to the PSP now, and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like on your PSP. All right, so now once you have unhooked it from your computer and gotten out of USB mode, um, now we're going to check out what it looks like. So now we're going to go to our game. Sorry, it's... A little bit bright. And then we're going to go to our memory stick. And then there it is. Can't see it very well. I apologize. But basically, that's going to be your Final Fantasy Origins game. So now you can click on it. And here we go. Now, something you can do is you got you can go to um, other settings after you click the home button, and you can do full screen, uh, original, wide, and everything. I do full screen myself, 
So we'll click back and back. And uh, here it is. Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Well, I hope that helped you folks today. Um, watch for my other videos. I'm going to... Uh, I got other videos, ones to show you how to do multiple disc games and then games that have multiple track bin files. So you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and uh, stay super. Come on,